Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series of Digital Logic Design. My name is Sayyid Ali Zamin. Uh, this is our first lecture. This le although anyone can join this lecture series, this course is designed specially for the students of Lahore Leeds University who have enrolled in spring 2020 session and uh, especially for this class of MSCS, MSCCS semester 1. Before moving forward, I would like to tell you that how our classes will be held, that how we will uh, held th these classes during these days. So uh, my name is Sayyid Ali Zaman as I already told you. Uh, you can follow me on this YouTube channel where all the video lectures will be uploaded. Secondly, there is a portal uh, easyclass.com uh, This portal is uh, you will this portal will be used uh, for evaluation for attenders for uploading notes quizzes so everyone who is from uh, the class of MSc CS semester one must join this class easyclass.com and how they can access uh, this uh, lecture this class of uh, digital logic design they can access through this access code which is given here h3gd-63h4 lastly uh, you can also follow facebook page where i will upload uh, or share this uh, video uh, because uh, there is a huge load on easy server dot easy class the on the server of easyclass.com uh, so in order to avoid any gap or uh, inconvenience uh, you should also follow me on uh, this facebook page if you have any question you can also ask me on uh, through email so email id is also given here so the uh, uh, just one minute this is a uh, facebook page uh, this is youtube channel and uh, this is the logo of uh, easyclass.com the access code to join this class is right here okay so uh, as you uh, saw previously that uh, the, in the first slide it was written lecture 1.1 1 .1. so uh, say I'll, I'll upload all the lectures in this format for example lecture 1.2 lecture 2.1 by lecture 2.1 what is me 2 means uh, say x dot y means x shows chapter number and y shows lecture number so this shows 2.1 shows that uh, the video or the slide which is uploaded if uh, there is written 2.1 this means that chapter number 2 and lecture number 1 so 2.2 means uh, chapter number 2 lecture number 2 so there will be multiple lectures of one of single chapter okay so we will uh, how these classes will be held uh, uh, firstly uh, you will go through these slides or video lectures secondly uh, we will overview the chapter from book thirdly uh, there will be a question and answer sessions and lastly i'll give you assignments or quizzes right so which book or books we will follow firstly there are uh, mainly there are two books which we will follow the first one is digital design which is written by morris manu right the second one is digital fundamental 
which is written by Thomas Floyd. So you guys need to have both of these book in soft form. I can provide these book, books to you as well. So here is the grading scheme uh, because you are uh, from semester one. So uh, you don't know what is grading scheme is here at Lahore Leeds University. So the grading scheme of uh, this course will be uh, the grading scheme. Uh, there will be total 100 marks, 100 marks. These 100 marks are divided into three categories. The first one is sessional marks. Sessional marks will be of uh, 30 marks. Uh, sessionals, sessional include quiz, quiz assignments, projects, presentation, viva, and attendance. Okay. Uh, furthermore, there will be a midterm of 30 marks, and finally, a final term of 40 marks. Right. Uh, the course outline till midterm is uh, given here. Uh, today we will have introductory class and then we will move to the chapter one of uh, this book Digital Fundamental written by Thomas Flight. Uh, in chapter one, chapter one would be about uh, introductory concepts. Then chapter two would be about number systems, operations and code. Uh, the chapter 3 is uh, about logic gates, which is the main uh, say main uh, chapter of uh, this course. Uh, fourthly, chapter chapter 4 is about Boolean algebra, logic simplification, and finally, chapter 5 is uh, will contain combinational logic analysis. So this is a rough uh, outline till midterm. Okay, now moving to our uh, introductory class. What is digital logic design? This course, the name of this course is digital logic design. So there are three words: digital logic and design. So there will be digital we will not be uh, reading analog system there will be only digital system right so one thing digital systems second thing is logics so we will use here different logic gates like and gate or gate logics gate uh, and gate or gate not gate etc thirdly is about design so we will design these digital logic gates Oh, sorry. Dis digital logic circuits. We will be designing digital logic circuits. So there are three uh, words, and we our focus will be on these three uh, paradigms. So what is digital logic design? Digital logic design is a system in electrical and computer engineering that uses simple number values to produce input and output operations. For example is about you just uh, uh, press s or a from your keyboard uh, you give an input and it produce an output in simple word so this is a uh, consider consider it a digital system so uh, what is digital design it uses simple number values to produce output so a digit as a digital design engineer you may assist in developing cell phones, computer, and related any personal electronic devices, right? So what is digital logic? Uh, it is about the representation of signals and sequence of digital circuits through numbers. So we will see all these things, what I am saying to you right now. We will look into it in later, later slides. <clears throat> It has vast application in modern world, especially digital systems. They have, for example, they have uh, applications in automobile industry, like uh, we see that locking of the door, automatic speed control, smart dashboard display, driver system alert, 
all these things which we see in a car are all digital system right so secondly they also have application in digital electronics in digital technology or digital circuits so electronic uh, that operate on digital signals so the uh, there are various applications of digital this course and in your even in your daily life so what is the basis of digital computing or what is the basis of uh, this course why we are studying this course why you have enrolled in this course this is the reason that we will try to provide you a fundamental understanding on how circuits and hardware communicate with each other or we communicate with computer so basically the main focus of uh, this course would be to develop an understanding uh, that how uh, com software and hardware communicate with each other how they interface uh, each other and uh, this under sorry okay uh, these are the applications uh, of a digital system like we see smart watches and usb universal serial bus universal serial bus uh, has four ports 1 2 3 4 and 4 so the the two ports are used for data data in data input the second one is used for data output the third one is used for voltage say voltage at uh, 0.3 volts and the last port is used for zero volt or ground so we even we here we see that uh, simple uh, values numbers are used for input and output operations for giving an input and processing it in a usb and then having an output so the applications of digital system into most electronic devices are embedded into uh, say calculator computer video games etc <clears throat> what is in the store so what we, at the end you are going to learn from this course this course will allow you to gain hands on experience or say uh, you may be able at the end of this course you would be able to draw any logic circuits uh, uh, and uh, building a computer hardware through the use of algorithms and simple inputs right how digital how does digital happen or how digital this all happens so this is the game of 0 and 1 you know what is 0 and 1 binary numbers on 0 for example 0 shows on or off 0 shows i say 0 shows off so what will one shows it will show on right so you know that computer works on on off so one shows off one shows on and zero shows off so the whole system uh, operates on 010101 0101. so digital system operates on binary number system so you would learn how simple input of one zeros can be used to store information on computer including documents images sound so uh, in the chapter six i guess six or seven you would be able to learn that how computer store information uh, how memory is created for example the uh, basic unit of memory which is bit you will learn at the uh, sixth or seventh chapter that how computer store one bit data using flip flop latches etc so wow this is i think you are uh, now taking interest in this course is it so 
so as a, what are the perks of uh, taking this course uh, where you will land after uh, having this course after enrolling this course and this course will help you to gain a job as basic design engineer application specific integrated chip design engineer or assembly language programmer or circuit design engineer or computer repair technician you can be a digital IC design engineer you can be embedded system programming technician and many others okay so uh, digital circuits use transistor to create logic gates in order to perform boolean logic which is boolean logic logic of zero one boolean shows uh, two uh, boolean mean two zero or one so digital circuits use transistor to create logic gates in order to perform boolean logics the logic is foundation of digital electronics and computer processing so digital circuits are less susceptible to noise or degradation in uh, in quality than analog circuits so as i told you earlier the whole course is about digital we are not going to study analog system and uh, what is the base of uh, digital circuits it is transistors so what is transistor you can see in the in this diagram transistor is a device electrical device of three terminals uh, which is uh, the name of this terminal is emitter collector and base you have uh, uh, studied in your fsc level uh, pnp npn junction so pnp is basically a transistor through which we control the flow of uh, uh, electrons or current and uh, we use it uh, for designing uh, logic gates so there are two types of uh, transistor pnp transistor and npn transistor what are logic gates logic gates are created by the combination of transistors so this is these are the main three logic gates this is not gate this is or gate and this is nand gate the hardware form is shown over here so what is fun here the fun is that in this whole course we will be playing with these tools or with these uh, symbols like this is and gate this is or gate not gate this is buffer this is nand gate nor gate xor gate x nor gate so they have their specific functions they have specific truth tables uh, we will be looking in the coming classes that how what is meant by them and what are their functions what they do in digital circuits so at the end of uh, say lecture one or two you would be able to design your dig uh, digital logic circuits here is the one example of uh, this circuit is given this is a digital logic circuit uh, and you would be able to understand that what this circuit is doing in very in coming two or three lectures inshallah okay so here i uh, conclude this essay oh sorry this lecture and uh, before uh, ending this session i would uh, like to ask you that please wash your hands uh, this is message of the day i hope you like uh, this session and uh, see you in next video okay thank you